Hello, I'm Georgia Ingra and I'm here to present my sketchbook field of experimentation and research. To begin my campaign research, I decided to look into various cultures, outdoors, what a barbecue means to people, as well, well as look in the current COVID-19 crisis. As food photography is a massive part of campaigning for food, I decided to t undertake a photography workshop enabling me to understand the importance of enhancing an image through alteration, using brightness, contrast, as well as hue and saturation. Although I found this to be extremely challenging, I think I feel that this is important for me to develop for future and is important when promoting food. Here I decided to generate some ideas inspired by Omar Wynn's energetic watercolour paintings. Here I have used Posca pens including Sharpies to create these energetic type illustrations. However, I feel these are not successful to follow through with the campaign. I then started beginning to look at reflection of my mood boards created throughout my project. Looking into how meals can be presented for possible recipe cards in the future of the campaign, looking at how plus and minus signs can be utilised as well. This could be really interesting for a magazine idea for my concept. I then decided to generate ideas using tissue paper for the, la for the layering aspect of the food that I had researched. Here is bright bold colours, however I feel this could be adapted further through the use of linear work. Here I decided to look further into my mood boards looking at world crisis while bringing the holiday home. With a mood board generation idea of how COVID has affected social interaction of children and how this could be uplifted throughout the use of the Tesco campaign. I then began exploring cultural techniques such as weaving in which I decided to use paper to create this abstract geometric shape. Although this was very attracting and pleasing to look at, I feel that this would be unsuccessful of understanding what this would mean to customers and can be developed into, into possible fruits and veg for a greater understanding for customers. This can be seen through idea generation of mood boards and how this could be adapted for fruit. Looking at further experimental ideas, looking at different street art such as graffiti and how this could have an effect on the overall appearance and aspect of the campaign. Looking into becoming more sustainable, I decided to experiment with various natural dyes such as cabbage, turmeric and the addition of baking soda. The only successful natural dye technique was using the turmeric as you can see with the bright bold colours, however the red cabbage seemed to be unsuccessful. This may be due to the duration of the time that it was left within the within the pot of the mixture. Again, looking at the importance of food photography, trying to capture shape and textures to inform conceptual ideas for my campaign. Here I've explored the way that it could be, appear more cultural, inspired by Bring the Holiday Home. Although this, I feel, was successful in its overall appearance, I feel that customers would also be un unable to understand and it, the dried out fruit took away a lot of the colour and vibrancy that I was hoping to appear within the campaign. Exploring collage further, which I feel was very important as, as said previously, layering was a huge part of the food that I had researched. Here you can see a vegetarian option which I have collaged leaves with linear aspects inspired by the avocado experiment. 
Whilst looking at shape further, inspired by culture, I decided to collage various textile materials in order to link towards this my imagery of red cabbage. Whilst these images are very attractive and appealing, I feel that these are unable to be recognised by customers of what this was trying to convey. Here I was trying to convey the message of cabbage through lighting and the use of card with various slits. Developing from my tissue paper collage, I decided to experiment with my natural dyed fabrics in which I layered and became very successful for its overall composition and the layering rustic aspects. This could be adapted for a tote bag and possible other elements for the campaign. Leading on from this, I created an abstract appearance painting which was inspired by this Mexican recipe card. This gave a very cultural out outlook, however, could be developed further with the addition of colour. As you can see, I've experimented further here. This creates a brighter colour and colour palette and a pop, creating more of a cultural overall aspect feel, almost giving the illusion of neon lights. The addition of colour creates more energy and is more attractive to look at and would entice customers further. Further exploring photography as again looking at competition, composition inspired by Florent Tannett who creates various structures through, through foods and fruits as well as, as well as drinks. These could be used for various bus stops idea with the idea of layering again following throughout the whole concept. Again, looking at culture weaves and how this could be adapted, I use my photography images, which I weave together to create an abstract composition. This could be adapted further by developing with actual recipes similar to my, to my tissue paper collage. Inspired by lighting seen in the store, such as Primark, as well as M&S and Harrods, I found that I found myself looking towards neon lights. Here you can see I have experimented with various neon light ideas and which could be presented on a taster stand. Inspired by the works of Picasso, I decided to experiment with various, various abstract shapes using recycled wallpapers, trying to convey, the, convey each texture found in the fruits and veg with each pattern on the wallpaper. These were too subtle of colours for my liking as I wanted a more bright overall cultural feel, which I feel that this lacked. However, developing from this, I used my own photography work, which had vibrant colours with the addition of black outlines inspired by my previous pattern experiments. I then decided to undertake a Wacom tablet workshop in ordering myself to develop my skills and create more professional illust illustrations. Although I found this to be very difficult and frustrating, I found that perseverance was the key. I would like to develop this further in the future for a more professional outcome. Developing my textile approach to collage I decided to place this within a fruit bowl, enabling customers to have more of an understanding of the salad, fruit and veg concept. Experimenting colours, again, was very important to look into cultural aspects and uh, look more eye appealing and attractive to various customers. This composition, again, was inspired by Florent Tannett. and looking at how this could be presented within a banner throughout the campaign. Looking at how my colours can be portrayed throughout, inspired by the textile and um, 
fashion museum in London that I visited, how colours can be important and allow customers to understand which each culture can represent. Whilst moving forward, I decided to experiment with the idea of wonky fruit and veg, in which is very apparent today due to the large and gross amount of wasted fruits and vegetables due to their appearance. I decided to adapt this by creating a linear and graphic outline experimentation which can be applied to the wonky veg packaging. Using illustration skills I decided to create various plans of how my campaign could appear with different aspects of the cultures. Here I felt that they were quite flat through, the, through using the Adobe Illustrator and didn't give the kind of impact that was implemented throughout my other experiments. This caused myself to, to later adapt these in a way that was more successful by adding a more graffiti outlook with additional white highlights. Whilst again ex exploring Florent Tannett's outlook, I decided to create various recipe ideas using the cube-like structure, which would be clear for customers to understand with the imagery. However, I felt that it didn't give the cultural outlook that I was expecting. With the addition of the graffiti street style outlook, I decided to add highlights and elements to be able to undertake the various patterns within the imagery relating to the various pattern development that I've created previously in the in the sketchbook. Using printing methods, using printing ink and various fruits and vegetables to create prints onto various fabrics and paper in order to explore how these might appear for various bus stop developments. Here you can see that I have used the addition of black linear outlines with the highlights to create a more cultural outlook, creating more of a pop, enabling to have more of a tasteful appearance which can entice customers further. This gives more of a cultural feel. As slogans are a huge part of campaigns, I decided to take a look at magazine cutouts in which I developed further creating my own slogans. I think this is important to entice customers, allowing them to know what the campaign is about. Whilst then developing further bus stop experimentations, I decided to go with the more tissue paper kind of experimentation with the use of shape and colour due to being the most vibrant and very attractive with being the clearest concept of them all. As promotional materials is important throughout the entire campaign, not within just POS, I decided to experiment with how I could apply this to various packaging ideas. Here you can see I have experimented with three experiments on the back of the packaging for the turner. Looking into various POS materials in ordering me to understand what my campaign would be made out of. I then decided to further create more bus stops, enabling me to look at various aspects that this would be used within store, such as fish, meats and poultry, dairy, as well as various soft drinks. As COVID-19 is still a very current issue, I decided to experiment with how it may appear onto a, a, very, onto a face mask. Here you can see I've used the turmeric dyed fabric with a painting of, of my chosen pattern. 
This pattern wasn't as crisp and clear as I had hoped, therefore I've decided to, to experiment with further screen prints in the future to develop this further. Leading on from this, I decided to create various video and photography experiments inspired by my cultural weaves using fruits and vegetables. Although this imagery was attractive and, ex and exciting, I feel that it was not appropriate to, produ to use within the campaign due to its unsustainable quality of the, of the burning, as well as being unable to have a, have a like, a overall appearance of the food that we were trying to represent. Here is a collage of how this could also be presented throughout.